Hello and welcome to section 7 Creating Pipelines and Advanced Model Selection. In this section, we are going to cover creating processing pipelines with scikit-learn. Processing pipelines are set of sequential operations that we specify. The purpose is to perform fit and transform operations in a series of steps on a data set so that the output of first operation is passed on automatically to the next one and so on. This helps in automating processing steps when we want to deploy our models and as the new data is coming along and it also helps while we are experimenting with the data set because it saves time. Then we are going to cover advanced model selection technique. We are going to look at how to select the best model when we have so many different models with different hyperparameters and different type of algorithms, how to select the best out of them or how to use them to make our final predictions. And the last thing we are going to do in this section is to practice with pipelines, feature engineering on a time series data set. Till now we haven't used a time series data set. In this data set, there will be a time and date element. In other words, each row will be an event captured at some point in time. In this specific video, we are going to cover creating processing pipelines with scikit-learn. We will modify our utility functions to use pipelines and we will use pipelines on our credit risk assessment dataset. So let's get started. To create a pipeline with scikit-learn, we use the pipeline function. It is found in sklearn.pipeline and we are importing two things, pipeline and make pipeline. We pass an array to the pipeline function and the array contains a set of tuples. Each tuple has a name. Each tuple has first element as the name and the second element as a constructor of one of the scikit-learn's functions that exports fit and transform methods, which of course most of the scikit-learn functions do. The first element of the tuple is the name and the second element is a call to the constructor or an instance of one of the scikit-learn's objects that exposes fit and transform methods. So for example, here we are passing robust scalar instance and we are calling it robust. And the second thing, second element is gradient boosting classifier and we are calling it GB classifier. Then it returns us an object which we call pipeline 1 and similarly for pipeline 2 we have added a standard scalar as well. So pipeline 1 will process any data provided to it using the fit method by calling robust scalar first the output of the robust scalar will be passed on automatically to the gradient boosting classifier. Now we can access the steps that pipeline is to perform by either the steps or the named steps field in the pipeline. So for example in pipeline 1 the named steps are this is a dictionary where the keys are the names that we gave values are the constructor with all those hyperparameters listed and followed by the so these are dictionaries so the order doesn't really matter so and similarly there is a steps attribute as well where our original tuples are present. So either we can access the pipeline through named steps using the dictionary there or the steps and to access one of the hyperparameters of one of the steps of our pipeline we can do named steps and then the key and then the any of the hyperparameters. For example, in this case, we are accessing criterion and we get the Friedman MSC as the value. If we list the pipeline's argument by just pressing the tab on the pipeline variable, we can see that it has all those fit, fit predict, fit transform and so on, which we have for any normal estimator. So how do these work with pipelines? Essentially, pipeline does something like this. So for example, if I were to write a pipeline fit method, this is basically what it is doing. It goes through the steps and it calls the fit underscore transform method of each of the steps till it reaches the last step. And for the last step, it only calls the fit method. The reason is that when we call pipeline dot fit, what we mean is to be able to process and pass the transform data frame from the first step to the last. We don't want to transform the last one because the user asked us to only fit and it is accessing the instance of the estimator as we have created the tuples for. Now another way to make pipelines is to use the make pipeline function. 
the difference between pipeline and make pipeline is that make pipeline automatically names the estimators for us which are included in the pipeline so for example we only have to specify a robust scalar and gradient boosting classifier as arguments to make pipeline we are not even specifying it as a list so it basically extracts the name of the step from the name of the function or from the name of the constructor that we are passing the gradient boosting classifier will be named as all lowercase gradient boosting classifier and similarly for the other pipeline now we have created three pipelines here pipeline one two and three and the third one also includes polynomial features so now the transformation will be a robust scalar transforming the data frame and then standard scalar and then creating polynomial features by adding columns and then doing the gradient boosting classifier we are only creating all the constructors with default values because we are not passing anything but we can pass specific model with a specific set of hybrid parameters if we want now when we come to our data set we will use pipelines for two purposes one is data cleaning and handling missing values specifically and the other is to perform scaling and model fitting and transformation and making predictions thereafter now to handle missing values through pipeline the easiest way is to use scikit-learn functions to handle missing values we haven't been using scikit-learn functions to handle missing values before we were using pandas function like is null and everything now to simplify our pre-process df function we will divide it into two parts or in other words two functions we'll call the first part pre-process df2 just to distinguish it from the previous function this is very simplified now so for example we have just the so for example we are doing dropping the id column and if there are new features we're going to add those we are going to convert to categorical columns if there is a list given and similarly we are going to bin some of the columns into categorical if there is a, again a list given so as before and now our function ends. So this is a much simplified version of the function. So we're not going to apply skew removal in this function. We'll do it later. And we create two pipelines in another function called create cleaning pipelines. Actually three pipelines. First pipeline is going to perform the log of y. So which we were doing previously in the preprocess function. So one of the things we wanted to show was that there's something called function transformer. Now this works for simple functions. By the way, function transformer is part of the sklearn.pre processing. What it does is it, it takes our function, this function is an argument and converts it into an estimator that is appropriate for the pipeline. So it creates internally some fit and transform methods it basically encapsulates the our function into the fit and transform. So this can be used as first or any middle step in the pipeline. Usually that's what the case is. So we call this pipeline Y. And so we have one pipeline which is saying function transformer log of Y. And we don't have any other step in this pipeline. We just want to show you that this is a separate pipeline that we can use at any point in time just like a function. Although we could have connected all of these together into one pipeline, but we didn't do that. You can try doing that. Function transformers don't really work well with many of the functions that we create because many a times there are data format issues with function pipelines. But right, right now in this case, it's a very simple operation. So what this does, does is if we pass log y equal to false or true, this function when it goes into the pipeline and we call it later on using the pipeline y this flag is in the closure of this function make pipeline so this flag log of y equal to false is within the closure of this function log of y because when the log of y when where it is defined it has this variable in its scope because it's part of the outer function that contains it so whenever this function goes anywhere outside this create cleaning pipeline, it takes its closure with it and all the variables which it is using, in other words, it's using this log of y, the state of those variables goes with it. That's called the concept of closures and it's also available in JavaScript and in many other scripting languages. So we create this log of y pipeline 
we create another pipeline and we call the imputer function of scikit-learn. This is also used for cleaning the data frame. Now, because we want to handle categorical and numerical values separately, we are creating separate pipelines. We could have combined them again into one, but we just chose to not do that. So just to keep things separate and clean. This is just to demonstrate the use of pipelines. Make pipeline, what this will do is will create an imputer. Imputer basically transforms the data frame by handling missing values. We can pass a strategy. In this case, it's median. So it's a one liner as compared to the previous code that we had for cleaning and replacing numerical values with the median. And we just say along x is equal to zero, meaning the along the column. Any missing values or nulls it finds, it will just replace them with median. And this will only handle NANs by default. If you want to handle zeros or any other values, we can just pass them as well as the definition of missing values. Another pipeline we create is for the categorical features. And again, x is equal to zero. And the strategy is most frequent, which is basically the mode. That's also what we were doing previously. So we created three pipelines now and we returned them as a dictionary. So pipe y, pipe df missing num and pipe df missing cat. These are the three pipelines wrapped in a dictionary that we return from this create cleaning pipeline function. So nothing has been cleaned yet. Not, there's nothing has been called yet. We have just created three different pipelines for pre-processing. And the rest of the things that we were doing other than the skewness and dropping the target column, we have moved into a pre-processed df2 function.